Act Expo was in Las Vegas this year, and I almost did something regrettable. You see, I scheduled time to talk with Volvo Construction Equipment about their lineup of battery electric excavators, compactor, and loaders. My schedule got backed up, so rather than drive the electric wheel loader, I said I'd just film the guy ahead of me and use that for my video. But Darren from Volvo said, nah, you really want to drive it. And you know what? Four-year-old Mike would be really disappointed with adult Mike for passing up on this opportunity to play around. Exactly. Today we're going to take a look at a compact wheel loader. This is the L25 Electric. This is a full EV construction grade compact loader. It has a little over 4,000 pounds of lifting capacity. It is uh, all wheel drive with the ability to have full traction control. It has 40 plus, a little over 40 kilowatt hours of battery storage on it, which will give you continuous runtime between four and six hours, which if you include idle time can last mainly an eight hour day. One of the nice things about this machine, it does come from our previous diesel models. So a lot of the parts are the same. Up to 90% of the parts are similar to our diesel equivalents, so we always have parts available when you need it. We still use hydraulics because hydraulics in construction is a proven uh, source of power, being able to multiply through cylinders and stuff like that. It's also got compression factors for the rigor that it needs when it's in there loading and dumping material. And it does, once again, give us a lot of those same common parts. A lot of people are scared of the new technology because, you know, can I have parts? And unfortunately in the construction equipment, we break things all the time. So it's nice to have sort of that background of parts availability and we carry a good warranty as well, protecting the batteries and stuff like that. So our customers shouldn't have a lot of upfront costs. Some more details about this electric compact loader. There are two electric motors used to develop the hydraulic pressure, one to steer and lift, the other to drive the wheels. In a diesel version, it's all running off the engine. So when you're stationary and you need to lift, that noisy diesel engine has to rev up to build hydraulic pressure. Since this is electric, it's super quiet. Take a listen. Passenger EVs and commercial electric trucks are typically a 400 or 800 volt system where electric motors drive the wheels through a gear reduction. This electro-hydraulic system is a 48-volt system. For a compact type of equipment like this, it more than gets the job done, and it avoids the cost of higher voltage systems. There are six battery modules packaged where the diesel engine would normally go. Each one is 7.2 kilowatt hours for a total of over 40 kilowatt hours. Equipment like this tends to take a lot of abuse, so at the rear is a heavy duty casting to protect the diesel engine, or in this case, to protect the batteries from damage. I grew up playing video games on a simple joystick, not a complex game controller. To operate a vehicle like this at a work site, diesel or electric, requires certification. The steering wheel, brake, and accelerator does what you would expect. This toggle on the stick controls the direction of travel. The stick itself operates the boom arm. Pull back, push forward to go up and down. Right or left pivots the forks up and down. If there was a bucket on the front, that would allow you to dump the load. This Volvo is nice because when you lift the load, it stays level. Some other equipment, you need to manually tilt the load back to prevent from dropping it. In reverse, there's a warning tone. Larger equipment often has a backup camera. In this compact loader, the visibility is really good. When it's time to charge, there are two options. AC level one or level two charging can be done through this J1772 plug. Level two would be fine to charge overnight and it's highly recommended. It has safety interlocks to prevent from unplugging while charging. So you plug it in, hit the green button and a sensor detects that you've closed and locked that charging door. It can also DC charge at a faster rate for that you would not want to use the familiar CCS connector because this is only a 48 volt system and CCS connectors typically output much higher voltage. So what plug do they DC charge with? How fast does it charge? And how do you get that much power out to a job site? Well, 
Volvo's thought through all that, and they have some very creative charging solutions developed with partners. I'm gonna keep this video short and save that information for my next video, so give this one a like and consider subscribing. Thanks to Darren and Volvo Construction Equipment for letting me relive my childhood dreams, and thank you for watching.